Hello world, it's Curtis Potter with Balance Inspiration. Today I wanted to talk to you about balance because I had my perception changed um, on balance and time balance um, today when listening to an Ed Milet podcast. So I'm extremely grateful I heard this and I wanted to share this with you because see, I'm a I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a business owner, I'm a husband, I'm a father of two toddlers, one that's one and one's about to turn three next month. Um, my wife and I own our own non-for-profit, we volunteer, um, we put aside time to go to church twice a week and it's over an hour away. Most of my job sites are over an hour away because we live in a real rural area. Um, so I've just been in this this quest to find the quote unquote balance and and how to use utilize my time because I'm getting stretched thin. And I've even told people that I felt like I was burning the candle at both ends and in the middle. I mean, so I had heard this that that balance, in a sense, it it gets misconstrued, and that's what I had been doing. See, I had thought that I that I had to give a certain amount of time to this, a certain amount of time to that, a certain amount of time to this. Um, but in all reality, I just had to learn how to be present in the moments that I'm giving uh, my time to certain areas and also truly evaluating how much time you need um, to give to each area. For instance, I was about to leave the house today um, and I was going to leave... 7 a.m. and I knew that I wasn't going to be back till about midnight. I've got two job sites going on that I essentially feel that I need to be at. Um, and then I realized it that once my my kid, uh, my son woke up and he just came running to me. Daddy, daddy, he had this huge smile on his face. He just jumped into my arms. This is almost a ritual that happens any morning that that I um, that he wakes up and I'm still there and it just brought joy to my heart and I decided to stay at the house for an extra hour and I just I was like you know I'm not gonna see my son today or my daughter so I gave them my time and for that hour I focused on being completely present with with them and see this is the thing is is this has kind of been my um, my last couple of weeks since I had jobs going on in the day, I've got a huge job that's been going on at night. Um, and, I, and, and I was struggling because I only saw my kids one to two hours a day. But every single day they see me, it's just pure joy. If I pull up to the driveway and, and they're awake, they are running to my truck. And I was struggling myself because I'm like, I'm not giving myself, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not giving my kids enough time. I'm not giving my kids enough time. I'm not giving my wife enough time. But see, every moment I was with him was joyful. And that's what I want to tell you today. If you're struggling to find your balance, just give your all at, at whatever you're doing in that moment. Be present. Give your all. And, and be joyful and create joy in whatever life or situation or, or job, your career, whatever you're doing. Take it all in. Enjoy that joy. Be present. And then that way, that's what the balance is, not not 30, 30, 30, 10, or, or, you know, 10 different things, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, you know, 10% on each. Give 100% whatever you're doing in the moment, and that's how you find your balance. If you know someone that needs to hear this, please like, share, comment, um, you know, send in their DM, send in a message, whatever you got to do, so all of us can keep working together, you know, becoming boundless and if you have anything else that you want to share and uh, have me talk on or, or give any comments or feedback on ways you found balance um, for instance on this video please put it in the comment section so so we all can hear different viewpoints and different ways on other people becoming boundless I love you all I appreciate everyone that continues to follow along and I hope you have an amazing day we'll talk to you again soon